Well, let's see what we get ourselves into today. Hooray! So in this video, we're going to return to the alt track. Um, the main goal, well, one of the main things I plan on working on today is the coilovers. I'm planning on trying to make them. Um, this is about a 200, well, currently about a $200 gamble, give or take. There's other things I'm going to do also. Since the last video, I ordered a lot of parts in hopes of fixing a lot of the little things. And throughout the next so many videos, I'm hoping to get all these things done. With that said, let's dive into the coilovers and what my plan is and what needs to kind of be done to try and make them work. And then whatever else I decide to, you know, go, ooh, shiny and start working on. Anyway, let's get going. First up, what we have here is a very cheap, or I'm pretty sure it's very cheap, price-wise anyway, coilover kit. This is meant, or when I got it, it's meant for a Honda Civic or that's what it claimed. It looked like most of them are all the same when you're buying just a cheap eBay, Amazon, whatever, coil, coil over setup. You have your standard, or these like the lock rings or whatever. Yeah, I've never actually did anything with coil overs. So this could be a lot of fail and you're here to watch. Um, you got your adjustment tools here. Hooray. I've had these for a little while, just haven't got around to doing anything with them. So, yay. Um, this is my first time really actually opening them. I'm not going to take anything apart yet because I have to do things to the old struts. But, yeah. Not a whole lot in the box. There's probably more things I'm going to need, like I do plan on getting camber plates for the top. Do I know what I'm doing? Oh, not even in the slightest, but this is where you try and figure things out. So on to the next item. Next up is a used set of struts. For the Celica All Track, God, I don't know why my voice raised like that, but whatever. So I bought these off of a forum member who is also on the Facebook group. And so the fronts are standard. You have the, I believe it's called a gland nut right here. Theoretically on this strut, I'll just need to compress the spring, dismantle all this shit, take this off. You know, and then that will get the old strut housing and everything out. On the rear, that is not quite how you can do it. So you still have the standard top hat that, you know, you pull that cap right there. Undo the nut after you compress the springs. But where it gets complicated is here. As you can tell, that's not just some screw on shit. What I'm going to have to do to make these rears work is cut this tube here. And then depending on what insert I'm trying to use, the insert will either bolt in at the bottom. I'll drill a hole, secure it down, move on. Or I'm going to have to weld on uh, an extension to the sleeve or to the strut housing that has a gland nut on it. So weld that all up and then put a new strut in there. But that's what we have to work with. So yeah, let's see what I do next. First thing I'm gonna do, deep creep the gland nuts. I think that's what they're called. Cause I don't know how easy these things will come undone. The last time I tried to do this was on a set of a86 struts and yeah i'm just letting that shit drip onto the wood way too many chemicals because i'm hoping at some point to replace this whole thing and get some space since uh space is at a premium right now 
so yeah, um, I'll be back after I go get a spring compressor and uh, start dismantling these. And here we are. Uh, this is just going to be part one. I'm going to mostly try to focus on just knocking out the coilovers, or at least as much as I can. If there's parts, times where I have to wait for parts or wait for anything, really, then I'll move on to other parts. But as many other people have said, it's hot. So. And I work during the day, so, you know, whatever. Here's where we're at. Um, a couple things I didn't notice till after I'd taken things apart. These rear, oh God, and the fronts. So that's where the brake line runs through. If you look close enough, you can see a little slit. So they were not removed properly. They were kind of cut out like they didn't want to disconnect the lines. Cause look. Let's, yeah, there we go. I'm guessing it's the same over here. Yep. So, with that said, uh, this is part one. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going, cause I'm trying to get better at recording something. I just, I also need to figure out a way to make it more substance. But until then, this is part one. When I'm done with the entire coilover thing, I will probably put the clips all together, make one actual video beginning to end of how to do everything. And probably in the last video for this and in the compilation, I will also put the breakdown of price and all that jazz. The reason I want to do this Aside from the fact that I feel like it might be cheaper or I might get a better product if I build it myself is I've read about a lot of different coilovers where you can't repair them yourselves or it's, the cost is kind of high to just rebuild your coilovers or you have to send them out, things like that. I'm not about that. I would like to be able to throw an insert in there, something I can buy online and then when they wear out, replace them. I've heard a lot of different things on how long coilovers last also. You know, 15, 20, 25,000 miles. I'm too lazy for that. I am not going to do a, you know, I'm not going to do the struts on the car every, you know, few years or four years. You know, on a car I'm not driving that much. It's a lot of different things I've heard and I could be wrong. Anyone feel the need to correct me, go for it. I'm still gonna build this though, and probably screw up. But, let's find out. Thank you, have a good day, Blue bye, -bye.